Welcome to our lecture online, and here's the next example of how to use the method of substitution to do the integration. And here's a, mm -hmm, let's um, start over again. <laughs> Welcome to our lecture online, and here's our second example of how to use the method of substitution to integrate something that looks like this. And right away, you realize here that uh, we don't have the proper differential. So we're going to take what's inside the parentheses and substitute that for the variable u. So let u equal what's inside the parentheses. That's usually a good rule of thumb to do that. So we write 3x squared plus 3. And then we take the derivative with respect to x. So du dx is equal to 3, oh, no, not 3x, because we multiply the exponent times 3. So this gives me 6x. And then we multiply the dx over there, so du is equal to 6x dx. And then we solve that for dx, so dx is equal to du over 6x. And then we substitute this and this into our integral. And let's see what happens when we do that. So this becomes the integral of 2x uh, divided by, this now becomes u, so u to the fifth power. And dx can now be replaced by du over 6x. And notice that this x and this, this x cancel. That was the whole object of doing that. And then 2 divided by 6 is 1 third, which can be taken outside integral sign. So this is equal to 1 third times the integral of 1 over u to the fifth du. And then, of course, when you have 1 over u to the fifth, what you're going to do is you're going to move this to the numerator and turn this into a negative exponent. So this is equal to 1 third times the integral of u to the minus 5 du, and that you know how to integrate, because you simply use the power rule. So this is equal to 1 third times u to the minus 5 plus 1. We add 1 to the exponent and divide this whole thing by the new exponent, minus 5 plus 1. Okay, and don't forget the constant of integration, plus c. And then if you simplify that, so this is equal to 1 third times u to the minus 4 divided by minus 4 plus the constant of integration, don't forget that. So now we're going to take 1 third divided by negative 4, that's 1 over negative 12, and u to the minus 4 can then be written as 1 over u to the fourth. So this is equal to 1 over negative 12 times 1 over u to the fourth, and plus a constant of integration. And then finally what we can do is we now replace u by what u is equal to in terms of x, and so this can now be written as 1 over negative 12 Instead of u to the fourth, we write 3x squared plus 3 to the fourth power plus a constant of integration. And that's the integral of this initial problem. All right, so that looks a little complicated, but again, the steps are you see an integral there. You don't know how to integrate this because you don't have a proper differential, dx. Actually, the way you look at it is you need a 6x dx here in order to integrate that. Since you don't have that, you use the method of substitution. You let u be what's inside the parentheses. You take the derivative with respect to x, then you solve for du, and then you solve for dx, and then you substitute what's here and what's here back in integral. It looks like this now. The object is to get rid of these x's, so the x's disappear. The 2 over 6 is 1 third, comes outside the integral sign. Now you have 1 over u to the fifth du. To integrate it, you want to move it to the numerator, with a negative exponent, then you simply use the power rule, and then you substitute back in what u is equal to to get the final answer in terms of x. All right, that's how you do that one, and many more examples to come if you want to see some more.